Remember the card game Top Trumps, where cars battled on their power and performance? Well, Audi, BMW and Mercedes are playing it for real these days, with each new flagship model trumping what's gone before. With Audi, the RS6 is its ace. The Audi RS6 uses the same 5.2-litre V10 engine that's in the Super Swift S6, but has twin turbos added to boost its power to a staggering 573 brake horsepower. The result? It will fly from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds. And in theory, it could go on to a top speed on the far side of 200 miles per hour if it wasn't limited to only 155. Few cars can accelerate with such vigour and you can carry plenty of speed into corners thanks to the ample grip provided by the standard four-wheel drive. However, the RS6 doesn't have the finesse of the best performance cars. You never forget that it's a big car and that monster of an engine contributes to a rather nose-heavy feel. The ride is uncompromising too. Even with the suspension in its softest setting, it's rather lumpy. The gearbox can also be jerky as it struggles to cope with all that power. Apart from sportier, snug seats, you won't find too many differences between the RS and the standard A6. So that means enormous cabin space and a wide range of seating and steering wheel adjustments. The dash is well laid out, and like a standard A6, the RS6 has a rotary switch in the centre console that controls various functions through a screen on the dashboard. However, the more features you add, the longer it takes to become accustomed to the system. Cabin space is the same as with the standard A6 too, so there's lots. Those in the back can stretch out in luxury, and whether you go for the saloon or estate, the boot is huge. The RS6 comes with 20-inch alloy wheels, front and rear parking sensors, and xenon headlights. Inside, you get leather and Alcantara seats, climate and cruise controls, a six-disc CD changer, and DVD-based sat-nav. You won't get much change from £80,000 when you hand over the cheque for an RS6. And as you'd expect, running costs are similarly eye-opening. Officially, you can get 20 miles to the gallon in an RS6, but expect that figure to plummet if you attempt to make the most of the power available. Company car tax and annual road tax are in the highest brackets too. This is a car for buyers with deep pockets. The RS6 is outrageously quick, but it's also outrageously expensive. We think the novelty of an executive saloon or estate that can outrun some supercars in a straight line will wear off. It certainly won't keep up with them through the corners, and ultimately there are wiser ways of spending this kind of money.